apa ya? Hi guys, today I'm gonna do another unboxing. What a surprise, right? I can only really film during the weekends because I work full time and by the time that I commute back home it's way too late to film anything so I had to wait till today which is like already December to film this so I'm sorry it's a bit late but let's just go into it and we're gonna open the nerdy popcorn box look at that I actually said it correctly <laughs> first of all this is very very heavy are you ready to see the wrapping tissue because that's what you're gonna see Ta -da! Uh, every single time. Do I never learn? That is correct. I never learn. You can see this gorgeous wrapping paper with the. Oh. So let's just unstick it. Tini! Still can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> let's put it down. So let's just grab that thing that is poking out. And that is a candle, I think. Looks like a candle. Smells like a candle. Magizoology. So that's from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Orange, Amber, Coconut, Almond, Vanilla. That's it. <laughs> and it's a sort of wax, so it's all natural. And this candle is from Stacks of Wax and smells beautiful, looks beautiful. It's just all around beautiful. <laughs> Next up we have some buttons. I call them buttons. People, Some people call them badges. I don't know. How do you call it? Let me know. How is it supposed to be called? And it just has some quotes. I mean, whenever I want to like critique something a little bit from the box, I feel like I, it comes out as if I'm ungrateful. But I pay my own money, so if I'm gonna critique it as, you know, a customer, then I should be able to do so, right? I understand that a lot of people like these things. I never ever wear these. I don't like the motivational quotes, I just don't like... I, I cringe, I can't help it, I just cringe. So, and then we have a coaster. It's believe in yourself and it has a unicorn in it, so that's really cute. Then we have a notepad from House of Wonderland. It's an A6 notepad with 50 pages. It says, you are awesome. <laughs> on here. I'm always using notepads for any sort of ideas that just sort of spring to my mind so I always have some notebooks scattered all over the flat and in my bag so I always appreciate these things. Next we have huh, from Neon Magpie and I believe this might be... Zeus, what are you doing? Zeus! No! What are those cats always talking back? It looks like postcards that you can color in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cute. So we have a witch unicorn, a scuba diver unicorn, <laughs> unicorn on the moon, and a mermaid unicorn. I think my favorite must be the scuba diving unicorn, it just looks so darn cute. I actually prefer them not colored in, they are so nice and crisp and I'm not a huge coloring fan. I know this is supposed to be something that relaxes you, but I honestly get so worked up. I tried, I attempted, and I just, I couldn't, I tried. It just makes me so annoyed. I, I, I don't think I have the patience to sit there in colors, but I actually really love the car the cars because I think they look amazing, non-colored. Oh my god, this is why it's so heavy because the book is massive. It's a hardcover, which is like oh, probably adds like a, at least half a star to the whole. I know it's silly and you shouldn't rate it by that, but it adds to my enjoyment so much. So I think it's like you know. It's a win-win. It's all very pretty and wrapped so nicely, so let's go ahead and destroy it. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so I have to contain my excitement here because the book is gorgeous. I know it doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter, but believe me, it matters. Even those that say you don't judge a book by a cover, because they most likely do. And then we have a card for some online exclusive content, which is always, always appreciated. And then we have the book! I don't know if you can see it, but it's all like... I think you can. Oh, the sides are really interesting. What is that? What is... How? Why? Oh, and it has pictures! It has illustrations as well. Can you see that? Look. Ah, ah. Lost it. Oh, but then I got one again. Where is it? Oh, God damn it. Just believe me, it has illustrations. Mary is an earthwalker, heir to the unique healing powers of the clan, but she has been forced to turn from her duties until she is chosen by a special animal alley, altering her destiny forever. When a deadly attack tears her world down, not down, apart, when a deadly attack tears her world apart, Mary reveals the strength of her power and the forbidden secret of her dual nature as she embarks on a mission to save herself and her people. It is not until Nick, the son of the leader from a rival, dominating tribe strays across her path that Mary experiences something she has never felt before. Ugh. Now evil is coming and with it 
a force more terrible and destructive than the world has ever seen, leaving Mary to cast the shadows from the earth. By breaking clan law and forming an alliance with Nick, she must make herself ready. Ready to save her people, ready to save herself and Nick, ready to embrace her true destiny and battle the forces that threaten to destroy them all. I try I actually try not to read synopsis because I feel like synopsis never catch my eye. So whenever I read a synopsis, like when I see a book and I'm just like, ooh, that could be really cool. And then I read a synopsis and I'm just like, eh. But you know what? I always enjoy those books if I do choose to take them regardless of the synopsis so I just try to never read those I like to go in blind I think I love it and I actually cannot wait to read this so yeah that's everything from the box I think we got maybe a little bit less of the additional items than we usually do but the book was huge so I assume there's not like a lot of place for anything else in the box and it was very heavy so you know shipping must have cost a bit more which is completely fine so we still have a candle, we have some postcards, and we have a notepad, and we have some buttons, and then you have this gorgeous, gorgeous book. Did I even say how it's called? Moon Chosen. It's called Moon Chosen. I think I didn't mention that. <laughs> Let me know if you read this or if you heard of this book. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye! Hey, and this was... <laughs> this was definitely 5 out of 5 for me. I really, really enjoyed it. It just flew by. I just... I started it and then I had to 